Hi everyone, it's Dr. Plays here. Welcome to a first look at Crafty Survivors. This is just the prologue, the demo version of it. So if you want to find information about the game, it will be linked down in the description below. Uh, it's a survivors game, so you know roughly what you're going to get here. But the theme is slightly different to other ones uh, from what I've seen on the Steam store. It looks like you're trying to uh, build things as well as also attacking stuff as well. Uh, so I don't know how integrated the building is or whether that's going to be in a full version or what. But I want to check it out today just to give it a quick look over and see again. Way down there in the description, subscribe to the channel. You can see some more other survival swap games we played, action roguelikes, bullet hells, whatever it else as well. We're going to start and we're going to see what the game's like. Right, so we have village or grasslands. Ah, I see. So in the village, that's obviously where you're going to build things, and in grasslands, I guess, is where you're going to go attack stuff. Let's go and have a look. Uh, so we have uh, my home, I'm guessing. Oh, it's a restaurant. Okay. So I can upgrade that for a cost of a thousand. I have zero gold by the looks of it. Okay, so maybe we need to go off to grasslands. So let's see. Right, stage one. So we have uh, three possible characters down there, maybe more in a full version again. Uh, special command is serve. Stoverick, uh, who's my character, prepares enemies prepares enemies with his skills in order to perform a stage-wide attack. Prepares enemies. Must accumulate at least 60 bistro stacks to perform the special command. This is very strange. Right, let's, let's fight. Let's find out. Okay, so I'm slicing. Oh, I see. Okay, so I've still got a basic attack. Right, okay. And I'm guessing prepare means kill. It's an interesting usage of the word prepare. Willing to give the game a uh, you know, benefit of the doubt. The, the art style is interesting. I do like that. Yeah, the character design looks fairly good. I'll get an upgrade. Right, salt in wound. Enemies affected by spiced. I don't think I have spiced. Um, unless it's part of my main attack. There is a fridge in <laughs> the direction you're aiming. I did say this one's a bit different. Uh, and flambe. Someone's a giant frying pan. We'll have flambe, I think. Um, yeah, we'll have flambe. Okay. I I'm, I'm liking flambe. Flambe is good. It's got a cooldown. Okay, that's pretty cool. Ow. I didn't mean to walk into him. I just wanted to get the wood. Right, increases magnetic radius. Quick hand. Increases attack speed by 10%. That could be quite good. Uh, overcooked. There's some uh, copyright issues there, uh, which is 35% chance of inflicting burn. Okay, not too bad in that one. And icing thrower. Someone's, okay, I think we'll just go for the attack speed. That would please, because I need that for other bits. Hey, okay, have a frying pan. I feel like, like flambe. The theme is is certainly interesting. I wonder if there's other characters who are not restaurant themed. Maybe there's a lumberjack or uh, I don't know something else. Have a frying pan again. Let's have an upgrade. Right, so we've got some mise en place. Um, reduce school kill down by ten percent. That's quite nice. Freezing time again, which is the fridge. Uh, quick hand increase the attack speed by two. Yep. Okay, I've already got that. And flambe. I'm going to go for the freezing time. Have a fridge. <laughs> oh, interesting. Okay, so out, 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 out. I'm intrigued. Right, okay. Peppercorn poof. <laughs> There's a handful of black pepper in a cone in the direction you're aiming. Dealing damage, knocking back enemies, and inflicting the spiced status. Ha! Oh, right, I see a skill tree on the right there. That's quite good as well. Sticky sugar inflicts slow on enemies. Affected by candid, which you don't have yet. Uh, each enemy defeated with serve, uh, which I don't have, or is that my first one? Is that my primary skill there? I don't remember if that's what it's called. Uh, can I see? No, I cannot. Okay. Um, caramel drop. Throws a sphere made of caramel, dealing damages dealing damages to enemies. That doesn't need right, but it hits the ground. Okay, I think I'm going to go for peppercorn puff. Right, that is a... Oh, I'm going to... I missed with everything. I died. Okay, well, let's exit. I've got. Oh, I've only got 95 gold. Okay, uh, well, let's see if there's anything else I can do back in the village. Because obviously that was 90. That was a thousand for that upgrade. I need 100 wood. What's this one then? Not available in this version. Okay. That is 5,000. Mouse there. That's why it's doing that. Uh, that's 10,000. Available and 5,000. Okay, so I think we can probably get to 5,000 not relatively quickly, but 
I mean, we'll get there. Seven wood we've got. So let's let's go back to grasslands. Have another go. Oh, hitting trees does nothing. Just wanted to check. Ah, LT is served. I see now. I'm guessing that's when I oh yeah when I kill like sixty enemies or whatever it was. Right, let's see what we'll get our first upgrade. Our energy, uh, XP bar is down the bottom, as per usual with these sorts of games. Freezing time again. Precise measures. Uh, sticky sugar. Take some quick hands, just a passive, that's fine. So it's not massively controller friendly with regards to how I play. See, if you've uh, got more nimble hands than me, you can play with mouse and keyboard. I'm sure it'll be fine. Ow, ow, ow. I didn't even see what happened then. Right, cinnamon spikes. A uh, big cinnamon spike comes out of the ground after a short delay in the direction you're aiming. Dealing damage and inflict. Okay. Freezing time, icing thrower, and liquid nitrogen. Okay, Heston Blumenthal. That's a 35% chance of inflicting frozen to enemies affected by the frosted states. Okay, we'll have to take cinnamon spikes because that's the only thing we have that doesn't require a another status. So it would be nice if they could limit one of those or limit it somehow so you didn't get any skills that required skills you don't already have, if that makes sense. We Okay, loads of XP there. Let's go there. Another upgrade. Quick hands again. Um, I'll go for Flombe, because I quite like that one. It's now on RB. There's loads of XP. So when Cinnamon Spikes and Flombe are both together, I just want to check something. Yeah, that's nice. So I can Cinnamon Spike in the middle of the Flombe, but it does quite a lot of damage. Right, increase the suction of the pan. Uh, caramel drop um, is Throsphere made of caramel and inflicts the candied status. Okay, we'll take that. Have some of that. It was very nice. We're almost at level six. Oh, I see you exploding. Oh, come on, we're so nearly there. These guys are very tough. Right, uh, salt drain. Uh, salt drains are in the area around the random enemy. Doing damage and inflicting spice status. Okay, so we do, do need spiced. Uh, that's also spiced. We'll take the uh, salt rain, which is now on deck. Out. Right. Okay, it's going to take me a while to get to a thousand gold. So let's have another quick go. I like the variety. I think uh, survivability is maybe just a me issue. Is tough. Some of the enemies they get quite quick, uh, quite tough, quite quick. I suppose you have that with most action roguelikes where it is, you know, there's a, a learning curve. If your base skill only does X amount of damage, oh, I've fallen on my face, um, then it does cause you a problem. Uh, I will take... I'm going to have to take Overcooked, I think. It's just a passive, can burn enemies though. Hello. I got him, whatever that was. What are you? Guessing these are things to kill him or restaurant or something. I don't know. Ouch. I don't know if they're even killable. I really need some XP, so I'm just gonna kill what I know I can kill for the moment and, and pray. I have already taken one hit. Oh, that I can walk through that. Uh, roll. Whew. Okay, similar spikes we've had before. Precise measurements, quite nice. Skill haul down flambe. Let's go flambe. 
killed the bull. I can't get up there to get the XP. That guy next to me is going to explode. Um, I will take... Yeah, that'll do. Okay, well, that was interesting. Right, uh, I mean, I can upgrade Flambe. I will upgrade Flambe. Ow, and take some damage immediately. That's shocking. Oh, God. That didn't kill everything. That is terrible for me. Oh, whack. I think I've just got some health there. Um, increase skill damage by 30%. Okay. Uh, let's do so. Right, and then let's do that. Okay, level 7. Uh, roasting time. There is an oven in the direction you are aiming. It spews flames all around it and explodes. I mean, oh, I'm going to take that. That sounds awesome. Have an oven. Oh, Flumbe. How are you still alive? Those guys are tough. I dislike Dash being on the B button, because I'm not using the face buttons that much, so I'd probably rebind that, but that's me. Um, let's upgrade roasting time, I guess. Throws an additional oven. I like that. Oh, heck. Flumbe out so that we can try and get some XP. Have an oven. I'd like to get to level 10 if I can. Oh, I'm not going to get to level 10 that way. Right, level 9 at least. Quick hands. Increasing attack speed could be quite good. Um, so I need to be able to see my upgrades because I don't know if anything does affect, uh, does do spice. We'll increase attack speed just temporarily. Uh, let me just check. It doesn't tell me. Oh, that's a bit poor, isn't it? I'd like to be able to see. And I realise that's a me issue again because I'm not paying attention to what I'm taking that much. I die there. I got to level 9 that time. I got 373 gold. 573 gold. It's not terrible. Just continue then. We'll have one more go. I'd like to see if there's another skill that I've not taken yet. There's plenty of skills obviously I've not taken, but uh, one I'd like to see early on maybe. Apart from Flambe or the oven. I haven't used my serve skill just yet, so I'd like to know. Oh, okay, caramel drop, sticky sugar. Uh, oh no, we can upgrade chef's knife. Take that. Oh hello, <laughs> that was nice. Don't know what they do. I know what that does. I need another level, please. Oh, that was nice. I certainly think pickup needs to be uh, expanded. But that's fine. Um, do peppercorn, because that is spiced. One of the status is needed to acquire a bistro charge for the surf skill. Okay, we'll take it. That's actually quite nice. Not sure how I actually like, get it though. Right, 
Um, I will. I'll take magnetic. Then. I was literally just complaining that I was finding it difficult to pick things up. Right, level five. Uh, I guess I could take salt rain. That's fine. Salt and pepper the buggers. I really don't know if there's a way I need to upgrade something to get the uh, the LT skill down there to work properly because like it's just not charging at the moment. Even though I've got something which does the uh, like the whole thing that it's asking me to do for the served. I've got a fairly good build going at the moment. I just need to be able to get the bloody XP that drops. Right, level six is Flambe again. We'll upgrade Peppercorn, I guess. Uh. Ow, I got hit then. Oh, I thought I was going to get hit again. Right, level seven. Um, guess we'll take Salt Rain. Oh, I thought I was going to get hit then. While you're over there, that's no good to me. I really don't want to antagonize the ball. I've got too many enemies near me. I literally just can't get in there to get any XP, so this is next to impossible. No. no. Oh god. I don't know how I survived that. I'm right at the edge of the world now. What, what am I supposed to do? I'm going to get hit. I know I'm going to get hit. Uh, we will upgrade that. Every attack does an additional knife slash, yes. Oh, I'm getting chased down now. Oh, those things are too fast. I've got no chance to dodge them. Uh, black and white reduces the skill deal. Ooh, that could be quite nice. Overcooked as well. Uh, I'm going to take Flambe, though. Just for a chance to kind of clear an area. We're now at level 10. Black and white. Take. Uh, oh, we'll take that one. Level 11, we're finally doing well. Chef's knife again, I think. Ah, no. Um, I've got nine charges in the bottom left there. Does that mean I can actually do it? Right, level 12 knife slash spawn four cutting waves all around you that travel in lines, cutting all enemies. I will take it. I killed the bull. Oh, I'm so dead. Okay, we've got 944 that time. So, if I exit from here, I've definitely got a 1,000 wood. Oh, sorry, definitely got a 1,000 gold, I should say. Which is what that takes. But it takes 100 gold as well. 100 wood, even. Uh, we have not enough for that one. It's not available. 
that. Go down. I want this one down here. Can you? All right, okay. Not available. And then that one is 5,000. So we still haven't got enough to upgrade my restaurant. I don't know what it does. It's just attack speed plus one. It's a bit of a shame, really. Okay, well, I'm going to leave it there. That's Crafty Survivors. I like the fact that there's kind of external stuff that you can build. The the theme of all the attacks and stuff was interesting. I may check this one out when it comes out. I don't think it's full out, fully out yet, so I'll put a release date on the screen now. Um, and, yeah, if you want to come back and check that out when it does get fully released, you can subscribe down below to uh, to be warned of that sort of thing. Um, but, yeah, other than that, I'm Dr. Plays. This was Crafty Survivors. Thank you for joining me along. And, uh, yeah, book serve delicious action roguelike style. Interesting.